Okay, tonight we're going to review a British beer. This is uh, Cottage Delight Specialty Foods, great British beer. If you can't get away from them, so buy the old farts of beer. Old farts, premium dark ruby beer, 500 milliliters, 4.8 fluid ounces. And I kid you not, that is the name. <laughs> Didn't get very far with that pour, did we? I guess I should have seen that when I saw the gas escaping from the... Ah. Can't say it doesn't have a good uh, head to it. two-thirds of the way through the pour. So, now the color, you can see the color better. Okay, I look at the video. You're seeing black. I'm seeing a, yeah, like a, like I say, a dark red. Um, Let's try a mini, mini make light. Oh, actually, I like. Let's try it this way. Does that work? Nope. Hmm. 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 I think uh, maybe the next time. Uh, do these reviews in the daytime would be better for y'all. I'm not going to try and fit all the beer in there. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, so it should, in theory, fit, but uh, pretty good head retention on here. Hmm, definitely different flavor. Good carbonation, <laughs> obviously. Well, I guess that's not necessarily true. If you get a Guinness, you're gonna have good good head on the beer but not but very little carbonation. up this beer review business. It's hard for me to come up with a flavor. Good point. 
corner or what. Put it all in there. <sighs> well, it's not bad. Well, I guess I would suggest looking at other people's reviews for flavors. Oh, it looks like there's all sorts of beer reviews for this. They're saying Merriman's Brewery. Okay, let's go to Beer Advocate. See now they're using a that's a different bottle. And this doesn't say Merriman's Brewery, this is a Cottage Delight. So it's not the same. Beer.com. Boom. The labels changed a little, but it looks like the same beer. So they're calling this a premium bitter. They say no, 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 no. Roasty hints, hoppy raisin taste, chocolatey dark fruit hints, bitter hops, and background bit thin. Chocolate nuts, caramel fruits, biscuit, bitter seed dry finish. Gee, I may have to rate this one because I don't, I don't agree. Bottle condition. I don't think it's bottle condition. Oh, maybe it is. There is a uh, sediment on the bottom. Contains wheat, barley, and sulfites. 
Hmm. Interesting. The place where I got this, uh, they seem to have beer come into their shop about once a week. Um, I am in Germany, so maybe the beer that I got is fresher than what some of these others that reviewed it. It says best before 4.15. So... Maybe you just need to have a fresher bottle. Uh, it's been sitting here a while. It's still got a cap on it. I don't mind the taste. Something different. I don't know if it's a... Uh, I think it'd be for me. It'd be one of those beers where, you know, if you want a little bit different taste uh, every now and then, you could. Uh, I'd pick up a bottle. Um, so, I guess there you have it. All right, uh, old farts. The judges say. like that. Mm. And the reason I go that way is because it does have a unique flavor to it which I can't identify but I'll probably equate that to a red beer in the future which may be erroneous. Um, but if someone were to hey have one of these I'd drink one. I uh, won't go out of my way to get one, probably, unless I'm really in the mood for something different. So, that's my rating.